Ladies and gentlemen, am I totally screwed or what? <sighs> hey dudes, B Junior here from B Junior's Movie Cave on the Endurance Productions YouTube channel. Uh, gonna do a little Blu-ray vlogging tonight, guys. If you're new to the whole Blu-ray vlog thing that I do, it's basically an ongoing uh, sporadic video series where I return to it every once in a while after I've had time to scope out some high definition titles for you. And not to really review these movies, these are not going to be full on uh, informational reviews, but to bring you up to speed in case you haven't watched these before, I just pick a few high def titles and basically take my time, go all the ins and outs on the PQ and the SQ, picture quality and sound quality and special features therein and just do a big kind of overview over ones that I either recommend or don't recommend uh, might tell you to save your money wait for another transfer to come out maybe not but uh, I'm going to dive right in I've got a few tiles I want to get through tonight but I don't want to keep you too long so let's dive right in with one I definitely recommend overall a great experience the title firstly is Highlander on Blu-ray Highlander is one of those favorites that I kind of grew up watching uh, on the, at the local video stores. I used to get this movie incessantly. Um, I enjoyed the TV show during my college years and, uh, and military years. And basically, I didn't really uh, get in line with some of the sequels that came after this one as far as the movies are concerned. But the Highlander original is definitely a classic among the cult classic or whatever you want to call it around the science fiction fantasy genre. Um, this is the director's cut. I highly recommend picking up this disc. It has the uh, the longer version of the film. It's not uh, it's not a real epic change, but it does have a few extra key scenes. It fleshes out some supporting characters, so it makes the the overall storyline make a little more sense. But uh, like I said, not a review on the film itself, but more importantly on Blu-ray vlog, I highly recommend it because watching this movie, guys, it was like watching a brand new movie. I mean, it was like brand new. Um, I even jumped on Facebook the night I was watching this and just I had to tell everybody about it. I just said, man, it's just like watching it all over again for the first time at the movie theaters or something. Um, so overall, it gets the seal of approval, thumbs up from B. Jr. here at the Movie Cave on picture quality. Sound is excellent on this one. It's probably not the best soundtrack I've ever heard on an action film or a, you know kind of the, this type of genre film. But for its age, it is a top-notch soundtrack. They've refined it a little bit. The Queen tunes in the movie sound awesome. It's like you're at a concert, sort of. Uh, kind of like a concert hall effect to it in the sound, in the surround sound on the track there. Um, let me give you a little rundown on the... Uh, so, there again. Picture quality checks out. Sound quality checks out. Let me give you a little rundown on the special features of this, of this disc and tell you how it differs from other versions. Um, this does sport about the same... Uh, special features as the the old Republic Picture, uh, Republic Pictures release that was on DVD from yesteryear. I know that DVD I got of it has got to be over 10 years plus years old. I mean it's it was definitely time for an upgrade and I'm glad I took the plunge on this one guys. I believe I, I grabbed this one for eight bucks at the local Walmart so it was money well spent and it's a movie that I really like and I'm gonna watch over and over again. I won't recommend these on Blu-ray vlog unless I really think it's worth your while. So if you like these type of films and if you're a fan of Highlander, you definitely want to pick this one up. Uh, it's got an audio commentary with director Russell Mulcahy, um, deleted scenes from the movie, uh, 1080p high definition of course, widescreen presentation, English 5 to 1 DTS master audio, uh, it's got Spanish 2.0 ma uh, master audio track, English, French, and Spanish subtitles. A big step up over the non-anamorphic non uh, DVD version that I've had of it for years and light years beyond a VHS of course but uh, not really loaded and down with special features or anything like that but it does have a couple of good I've, I've listened to the old audio commentary I'm thinking it might be the same commentary just kind of transposed to the blu-ray here but it's really 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 highly recommended by B Jr. here so pick up Highlander if it's your cup of tea if not Skip it and go to the next movie. <laughs> okay, another Blu-ray that I highly recommend. Now, this is going to be one of those kind of halfway recommends. Let me explain as we go. I picked this one up right before the uh, Thanksgiving holiday, and I got it real cheap from Walmart. It is, of course, uh, Rambo, uh, the fourth uh, Rambo movie. 
uh, was, of course, Sylvester Stallone in the title role there and everything. This is, of course, the extended cut, which is kind of the uh, the promo uh, that came out around the, the movie Expendables when it was out at the movie theaters. They put this one out in an extended version. Um, it, it had like a little uh, thing inside for the Expendables movie, I think, or an ad or something. Uh, but basically, there's the disc if you want to see it. Overall, Rambo, this version of the film, looks excellent just like it did on D the, even the DVD of this movie looks awesome. I've got the two disc DVD special edition over there. I scored it real cheap from a used movie store. But uh, I would probably recommend if you like this film, overall the film itself, I would probably go for the theatrical version of this film. Mainly because I just like the flow of that version better. The extended cut isn't all that different, but it, it takes out a couple little scenes and it adds back in a lot more. It's a little more talky, it's a little more preachy in a couple scenes, and it reorders the first opening act a little bit. So that's the best way I can explain the extended cut difference between it and the regular theatrical. Personally, I like the theatrical version of this movie better, but if, even if you get the extended cut, you're not going to lose anything. You're just going to gain some extra little expository scenes in the movie. To kind of give you a rundown on the special features, it houses Rambo to Hell and Back, uh, Director's Production Diary. It's the same uh, things on the two-disc special edition, basically. Um, 1080p high definition, widescreen presentation, English 7 to 1 DTS uh, audio track, English and Spanish subtitles. Um, basically, grab it while it's cheap, guys, because I think you can still find this one for a bit cheaper. And I hear tell even Best Buy had the theatrical version of this film uh, on sale not too long ago. So. I say pick it up, guys. If you're into action films or 80s action cheese overall, this was a good throwback. Expendables was good, but the, at least the acting in this movie is, is tolerable, and it's it's pretty good story. It's your standard uh, Ram, return to Rambo land. So, and I happen to be a real big fan of Sylvester Stallone's movies overall, and the Rambo films especially. I mean, you know, I got the first. I'm rocking, still rocking the uh, First Blood poster on the wall there. It's one of my favorite films of all time. So I'm kind of biased, but I say pick it up. If you're a Blu-ray fanatic, get it. Buy it. You know you want to. I'm going to sneak in a couple of HD DVDs. Now I know, don't run off, don't run off just now. I know a lot of people are like, hey, HD DVD, that's a dead format. I don't want to hear about it, B. Jr. You're just delusional. You're just uh, furthering on this uh, high-definition revolution of your own. Well, guys, yes and no to that. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of high-definition DVDs that uh, I've found that the transfers are absolutely brilliant on here lately. So I've got nothing good to say. I've only got good things to say tonight. I don't have any that I'm not going to recommend. So, But in terms of picture quality and sound quality, if you're into HD DVD and you want to know some of those uh, titles that I highly recommend, I'm going to sneak in a couple tonight. One of which, a little horror favorite from yesteryear, Army of Darkness or Evil Dead 3, whichever way you want to call it. Um, this movie does not have, it's a bare bone disc. It doesn't have any uh, special features with it. I think it's got a theatrical trailer with it. That's about it. Um, it's 1080p widescreen, uh, 185 to 1 ratio, uh, Dolby Digital Plus 5 to 1 audio. Guys, I wouldn't recommend this to you if I didn't think it was worth your while. So if you're into HD DVD, and you like horror movies, you got to pick this one up at least for the picture and sound quality. I didn't expect much from this one because, you know, let's face it, it's not Avatar. I mean, it's not District 9 or any of these super clean transferred movies. I thought it was going to be grainy as Hades, but when I popped this sucker in, I was drawn in from scene one. I watched this movie a million times throughout the years, the high school days and everything, but i got to be honest. Viewing this one in high definition, I'm guessing that the Blu-ray of this is probably the same transfer, but if you're in HD DVD like me, Blu-ray on the cheap as I've dubbed it, you probably want to run out and pick this one up if you can find it for a couple bucks because it will definitely be worth at least a 2 to $5 purchase in my book. Get it cheap while well, the getting's good. Army of Darkness, seal of approval, picture quality is excellent, sound quality is awesome on this one, even for just a 5 to 1 audio track, Dolby Digital Plus, it is awesome. I, I it really raised the bar as far as some of these older releases there. Pick it up, guys, if you're in HD DVD. One more HD DVD, and I'll let you go. I know, I know. You just want to see about the Blu-rays, and you want to say, shut it up about the HD DVDs. This was a recent purchase, and it'll probably show up in, a, in an update, so bear with me on that one. But i gotta say, I got to say, I'm not really going to review this movie right now, but I, I don't know why. My only uh, regret from this movie, Friday Night Lights, 
was that I waited so long to watch it. This was the first time I ever viewed this movie, and it was on high-definition DVD. I gotta say, guys, not only was the movie good, I, it was just a good story. I mean, it's not gonna knock your socks off. It's not the best football movie ever made in history, but it's just a decent story. It hit home. It hits home a lot because I grew up in a small town. But I can highly recommend the story, uh, you know, for like a snapshot review. But uh, it's got great special features, behind the scenes, deleted scenes, uh, player cam, Tim McGraw off the stage. He stars in the movie. Um, the story of the 1988 Permian Panthers, that's kind of the behind the scenes. They actually get the real player, the real life players to tell their side of the story. Um, gridiron grads, behind the lights, some more special features behind the scenes. Guys, I can't recommend it enough. For a movie, it's a newer movie, so it's you kind of going into it knowing it's going to look pretty decent, but it really knocked my socks off in terms of sound and uh, picture. For It's a cheaper purchase on HD DVD. I think you can get it from anywhere from about $1 to $3.00 because I think there was an abundance of these discs made. Highly recommend picking this one up if you're into the HD DVD revolution, as I call it, or Blu-ray on the cheap revolution. Friday Night Lights won't disappoint, both in story and picture and sound quality. There you have it, dudes. Your high-def titles rundown from B. Jr. here at Bean Jr. Move Cave. This has been Blu-ray Vlog, or Blu-ray plus a couple HDs snuck in on you there. Take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep, keep watching. Stay tuned. There'll be more in the future. Take care, dudes.